Hello folks, I'm Abfielder and this is the second episode in my tutorial series on Lightmatica. If you don't know how to install Lightmatica, then great news, that was covered in the previous episode. Go check it out, there'll be a link down below and then come back here. Today we will look at how and where we can download schematics from and how we can then paste them into our worlds in creative mode, something I do an awful lot as you can see in front of you. So then where do you get schematics from and completely impartial of course but abfielder.com has over 3000 to choose from, amazing mega bases, houses, castles, redstone builds and even a premium store now where you can help support the website and the abfielder partners. But we're going to choose one of my free ones so we're going to scroll down to my newest schematics and go to to the Darth Vader statue. From here we need to scroll down for download and then we've got a choice with this particular one, we've got a Lightmatica and a Skem. Actually either will work with Lightmatica but we will use the default file for this one. So click on download, I'll take you to the thank you page and your download will happen in the background there. And from there all we need to do is go to our downloads folder, really easy in Chrome, just click on the folder icon there. So from here, we now need to get that into the schematics folder. Now, as long as you followed the previous tutorial, you will have a schematics folder. If you don't, go follow the installation tutorial. But I'm going to show you the quick way to get to that now. And we're going to open the Minecraft launcher. And from here, we're going to click on installations. This is the one we created last week. And we simply need to open the folder like so. So now we have two Windows Explorer windows. We've got the downloads and we've got the Minecraft folder. I'm going to put them side by side just to make this a little bit easier. There we go. Downloads on the left and the Minecraft folder on the right. This is the folder we're interested in here. Schematics on the right. So we'll double click on it and there's nothing in there at the moment. We just need to drag and drop that in and boom, that is in our schematics folder. Now we can go back to the game. So now we're back in the game, I'm gonna show you how we paste this into our world. I'm gonna keep this very basic, we'll go more in depth as the series progresses. So click M for mic, click on load schematics, select the schematic, and make sure there is an X in the create a placement box. I've accidentally unticked that before and then wondered what's going on. Once you've done that, click on the load schematic button in the bottom left and you'll get the message, hopefully a success like this one. And there we go, it's behind me this particular one. So let's fly over here. And this is our schematic. A couple more steps to actually make this a physical build. If you watch, I can fly through this. It's not actually in our world. It is just the schematic. So there we go, let's make sure we can see it. Hit M for mic. Go to configuration menu and make sure you are selected on hotkeys at the top. And we're looking for execute operation. Now I'm gonna reset it because that's not default. This is default, it says none. So execute operation, click on where it says none and set a hotkey. I personally use shift plus X. When you've done that, click in a blank bit of space over here and your reset button will light up and then we can escape out of there. Now if I hit shift and X, nothing happens. And that's because in Lightmatica, you actually kind of need this wooden stick for most things. It's just the bog standard stick. So I put one in your hand and you can see now a new menu, a new kind of config options thing has come up in the bottom left hand corner there. And I'm on schematic placement, which is mode two of nine. If I hold down the control key and use my mouse wheel, I can scroll through them. If you aren't able to go on all nine of these, it's probably because you're in survival mode, not creative. Some of these will only appear in creative mode. So if I go back to schematic placement now, let go of control. And I, if I hold Alt while I've got my stick, so I'm holding Alt, and now I use the mouse wheel, I'm scrolling backwards towards me. You can see that's moving the schematic towards me. And if I face this way and scroll backwards, it's moving it again in this direction. And that works for up and down as well. And if you scroll forward, you can see it's moving in that direction. Now, I know some of you may be on laptops, maybe you don't have a scroll wheel. If you hit M for mic, so that mode button in the bottom left, where I was using control, you can change here by just simply clicking on it. And I was on move, there we go. And the other way that you can change the placement is to go into schematic placements. And on the one that you wanna move, click configure, now we can change the coordinates here. We can either type in our coordinates or we can left and right click on here. 
And the other thing, we can either mirror it and we can rotate it and we can do move to player. I'm actually going to rotate it and I'm going to rotate it twice. And the reason for that is I want to take a screenshot when this is in the game for the, uh, the video thumbnail. So I'm going to press rotate. That does clockwise 90 degrees, clockwise 180 degrees. And then actually that's a long way from where I want it. So I'm going to stand on the ground. I'm going to hit M. Go to my placements, go to configure, and I'm just going to move it to my player because that is nice and quick. And then we'll go here so we can see it. And then we want to change the mode to number five. So hold down control and go to paste. And again, you can do this in the config menu if you hit M and just click until it says that and you're good. And then with stick in hand, hold shift and X, assuming that's what you set your hotkey to. And there, boom. Now, this is a physical object in our world, and you see I get stuck when I try and fly into it. And that is it. That is how you paste a schematic into your world. Before I go, I do want to give you another tip. As I said, we'll go more in depth into the various things we can do with this mod later in the series. But Lightmatica is pretty resource intensive. So if you haven't got a very beefy computer and it's a pretty big schematic like this, there is a chance it could crash your game. And I'm going to show you a way around that. So if we hit M for mic and go to configuration menu, go to render layers at the top here. If it's set to all, let's change that. And I always have it set to layer range. Now I've got the minimum layer set to 112 and the max layer set to 67. If I change this to 80, you should see how that's becoming, you know, more visible. And also by default, if you're on this, you can use the page up and the page down buttons on your keyboard. And that's just going to help you build it in and just stop your computer from crashing if it's a particularly big schematic. It's very useful. And I just wanted to share that with you now. So there we have it then. That is how you paste a schematic into your creative world. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can build it in survival mode with something called Easy Place, which is super awesome. But for now, folks, that's all I have time for. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.